Uh, it seemed like you had your best outing on Sunday individually. How much did the hit bother you early in the season, and do you feel like you're past that now? Um, it was bothering me. I would say about it was bothering me a lot uh, in the beginning of the season, um, but. As I know myself, I just got to make sure I'm staying healthy, still working out, trying to get it nice and loose. Um, uh, knowing me, I'm going to get it right, just keep working, keep improving it, and I should be fine as the year goes by. Eric, you've been here for a couple of years now. This has been a tough go at the beginning here. What's the mentality of the room, and, and what does it have to be to kind of turn things around here? At the end of the day, we just got to do our job, and we got to do it well. There are some critiques. There are some things we got to work on, but that's why we have practice. How tough has it been just managing, you know, with all the injuries, you know, you've been hurt, Chris, Frank, I mean, you've had a been changing lineup. How difficult has it been, you know, coming to play without really the guys that you were expected to go with back in hand? I mean, at the end of the day, uh, the NFL and the NFL, there's going to be some injuries here and there. There's going to be some bumps and bruises. At the end of the day, there's always the next man up mentality. So no matter who's on that line, that whoever's on that line has to be ready to go no matter what the circumstances. Derek, looking at the football team, like the run to football, Antonio Gibson, Jenny McKissick, your thoughts on facing these guys and stopping the run this week? Oh, they're some speed, they some speed monsters, that's for sure. At the end of the day, we just gotta be dis we gotta be disciplined in our gap, uh, play solid technique, and we should be sound. We should be sound. Whenever Spags has talked about the defense a little bit, he's mostly talked about specific execution. I mean, it's been on both sides of the ball, I guess. What does that mean for you guys to to work on improving the execution on an in-game basis? What do you do during the week to, to hone in on stuff like that? Uh, there's a saying, there's a quote in our D-line room. Uh, it says, practice execution becomes game reality. So we just got, when we go to practice, we got to practice while we're playing the game. It just, like you said, execution is something we need to work on. That's why we have practice. We got to keep working at it. We got to execute. We got to go balls to the wall, going 110%. We got to keep working. Derek, I know you guys were excited about bringing on Jaron this year. Um, even though the start has not gone the way maybe he would have liked, what can you and some of the other guys on the defensive line sort of tell him or encourage him? Uh, obviously, in his first year with you guys. Uh, honestly, like I said, the, you know, it's an early season. Nothing is ever perfect at the beginning. It's just all about fine-tuning. You just got to keep working. And at the end of the day, it's never going to be perfect. You just got to keep working at it, and it should turn It should turn around, you know? Eric, uh, Turk has kind of been on an upward trajectory. What have you seen from him as far as growth since he's been here and, and into this season? Man, I like his, I like his work ethic. He's been, he's been grinding since he got here. Um, he's a very coachable guy. Um, he's always listening, have his ears open to whatever type of information, whether it's from the coach or whether it's any of us in the D-line. He's always welcome to try something new, try to improve any type of way. Growing up in Virginia Beach, did, did you get to many Washington games or were you much of a fan growing up? No, crazy thing is my mom was a Washington fan. I personally, I was a Steelers fan. Troy Palomalo was the main reason why I started playing football. Safe to say she's no longer a Washington fan. <laughs> <laughs> Funny thing about uh, about um, she's kind of still is. My dad gives her. My dad would always get on her because of how Washington's football history was in the past. This year and past couple few years, they've been doing better and better. So my mom's been just talking back and forth with my dad a little bit. It's always a little funny, but yeah, never been a Washington fan. It's never been my thing. Always Steelers. That's a big deal, deal for mom. Is she gonna be there for the game? Oh, uh, my mom. My parents. One thing about my parents, they always try to go to any game that I'm playing in. Shoot, when I was in college, they drove 12 miles, 12 hours, sorry, to come to Tallahassee to watch me play. And then so this, now I'm in the league, they try to come to any game that's closer to Virginia. Cool. Okay, thanks, Derek. Thanks, Derek. Appreciate it, y'all.